Hey there everyone. Peaceful Quiet Life here. I got another comment on my Vivitar Experience Image Manager video from Jordan Gray. He asks, can you edit videos? And it got me to playing with my image manager. Um, no, you can't edit videos exactly. Um, this manage uh, section of the image manager gives you the choice of videos or photos. My photo library is empty right now. I got plenty of videos in here though. Um, this drop down list are sites that you can connect to to upload your photos or your videos so there's a lot more options with photos as far as tool buttons go and sites um, one thing you can do with the video part of it is you can watch your videos um, my flasher won't pick this up so this probably looks black <laughs> but the video is actually playing and you can play it in a small window or a full window or the entire screen like you would your videos for YouTube um, you can pause the video and you can mess with the sound if you'd like so it's kinda like a YouTube player and I'll just make that a still right there um, this third button right here is for taking snapshots so if I click this it'll automatically, automatically take a, a freeze frame from your video and for my computer it's put it in pictures and snapshot images folder so when I go back to photos I've got a picture there now um, A fun thing that I found on here is this uh, share button has a frame maker on it. So you can put a frame on your picture. They got different ones you can use depending on your mood or the what kind of statement you're wanting to say. And when you save that um, it keeps the original and the frame picture both intact. Um, going back to videos. So you can take stills and then enhance them any way you like. Uh, this right here, I thought I was taking a job photo, but I had it in video mode. So what I got was like a four second video instead of a snapshot. I was just needing a picture for a job. So I'm going to use this as my next example. Um, this picture will not save the original and the edited version. Um, you'll need to go to your pictures and make a copy of it if you want to keep them both. Um, if I just click edit without selecting a picture, it brings up all photos. Um, the reason I did that is uh, what I want to do is demonstrate this drop down list which I forgot to use in my first video. And there's some buttons on here that you can play with, like this charcoal button, see? So it kind of makes it look like a drawing. I'm not saving that. I switch pictures. There's no go back button on this thing. You just gotta close it. Uh, but what I want to do with this picture is I'd like to enhance the photo first and sharpen it a bit. And I'm gonna play with this oil paint button. So it kinda gives this oil painting look. Um, but I'd actually like to sharpen this a little bit more and then play with the color button 
so that gives me a brilliant looking oil paint type picture and I'll save that and I'll close this out so now I've got three pictures and going back to videos one more demonstration is uh, here take a snapshot of this go back to photos I'm going to select this um, go to share and I'm just showing off now there there's all my pictures um so yeah that's about all you can do with videos you can watch your videos in full screen and you can take snapshots of your pictures and you can upload those to YouTube or Flickr or photo bucket and these lists might you know grow or get smaller with updates um, and one last little trick this is the share window here almost the same as the home window except the home window has got this slideshow button now you can't create a slideshow with this but you can put all your pictures here for yourself and you know they're just for you to enjoy on your computer uh, you can see how long you would set each picture to stay on and for the background music I'm just gonna put this in here for some sound effects kinda some wind chimes things but um, I hope this helped and I appreciate the comments and peace in YouTube